endothermic reactions. Endothermic reactions are reactions that require external energy, usually in the form of heat, for the reaction to proceed. Since endothermic reactions draw in heat from their surroundings, they tend to cause their environment to cool down. Example of this is photosynthesis, wherein plants absorb heat energy from sunlight to convert carbon dioxide and water into glucose and oxygen, as illustrated in the chemical equation. Second example is cooking an egg, wherein heat energy is absorbed from the pan to cook the egg. There are also generally non-spontaneous since endothermic reactions yield products that are, other, that are higher in energy than the reactants. As such, the change in enthalpy for an endothermic reaction is always positive. In an endothermic reaction, the product C in diagram are higher in energy than the reactants A plus B as illustrated. Therefore, the change in enthalpy is positive and heat is absorbed from the surroundings by the reaction. Whether a reaction is endothermic or exothermic depends on the direction that it is going some reactions are reversible and when you revert the product back to reactants, the change in enthalpy is opposite. Exothermic reaction is a reaction or process that releases energy, usually in the form of heat or light. Example of this is combustion. The burning of carbon containing compounds uses oxygen from air and produces carbon dioxide, water, and lots of heat. For example, combustion of methane can be represented as follows. Another example is rain. Condensation of water vapor into rain, releasing energy in the form of heat is an example of an exothermic process. In an exothermic reaction, energy is released because the total energy of the product is less than the total energy of the reactants. For this reason, the change in enthalpy for an exothermic reaction will always be negative. In an exothermic reaction, the total energy of the product, C in the diagram, is less than the total energy of the reactant, or A plus B, as illustrated. Therefore, the change in enthalpy is negative, and heat is released to the surroundings. This is the comparison between endothermic and exothermic. For endothermic, heat is absorbed. It feels cold while exothermic heat is released. That's why it feels warm. In endothermic, energy must be added to pour reaction to occur, while reaction occurs spontaneously for exothermic. This order decreases. For endothermic, an entropy increases for exothermic. Increase in enthalpy for endothermic and decrease in enthalpy for exothermic. As we talked in enthalpy earlier. Now, let's check understanding. Let's classify each statement if the reaction occur in endothermic reaction or exothermic reaction. <clears throat> 